Let's go ahead and get started on creating a document. There's a few different ways that you can approach this. The first one being that you can upload a pre-made document, either Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or a fillable PDF file. You can also use one of our sample templates if for whatever reason you don't already have one of your own. And last but not least, you can use our document builder to create a document from scratch. Okay, now that we've gone over some of the basics of merging, let's go ahead and create our first document. To do so, we'll click on the New Document button, and the first thing you're going to need to do is give it a name. It can be anything you want so long as it makes sense to you. Next, we'll choose the template type. For this example, we'll go ahead and upload a pre-existing Word template that we've already built. All you need to do here is click the Choose File button, then select the file you want to upload, and then click Next. After that, you'll need to tell us how you want the merge document delivered. You can either save it to your stash, have it emailed, or connect to a third-party service. Finally, you'll tell us where the data is coming from. This can be from any external service like Formstack or Salesforce. You can also upload via CSV or from a data collection form. All right, now that we have our document uploaded, we still have some work we need to do. First, let's go to the Settings tab. This is where you can begin to really customize your template and start to make it work for you. Here, you can change the name of your template, choose the output of the merged template, change the name of the output file, select the time zone, which is useful if you're using any kind of merged data, which relies upon a time or date stamp. And this can also be set independently of your local time zone, which is specified in your account profile. You can choose the status of the document, active, meaning it's live and ready to go, test mode, where merges don't count towards your monthly limit, and also where you can enable the debug log for troubleshooting and determining how your data is coming over. And lastly, inactive, which turns the template off, so to speak. It's worth pointing out that we consider it best practice to put your new template in test mode with the debug log turned on until you're 100% satisfied with how the template is set up. This avoids a situation where you're burning through your merge pool while trying to get everything set up correctly. Over to the right, you have some advanced settings available by clicking the Advanced Settings button. Of importance here would be the Use Field Map for custom integrations, as well as Save Data to Remerge Download Later, which can act as a debug log of sorts without requiring you to put the template in test mode. All right. Now that we've demonstrated a document upload, let's go over how to create a document using the Doc Builder. Similar to the upload process, step one is to click the New Document button from the Document tab. Next, we need to name our new document. Now, we'll need to select the radio button all the way to the right under I want to build a document from scratch. Clicking the Next button will allow you to select how you want the document delivered either in your stash, via email, or by another third-party delivery. Clicking Next again will tell us how you plan to get the data to us, either integrating from an external service, a CSV upload, or from a data collection form. To save time, I'm going to go ahead and paste some content that I already had on hand into the Doc Builder. Make sure that you include properly formatted merge fields, as we discussed earlier. Let's take some time to look around at some of the powerful options we have available. If you look to the right, you'll see an insert button. This can save you a lot of time if you're not comfortable yet with creating different types of merge fields. Here you can quickly insert a merge field, an if else statement, a loop, an e-signature tag, and finally a website form. I'm gonna go ahead and select an if else statement to show you how easy it is. You'll need to input the field name, the qualifier, which in this case I'll leave as equals, and the value we want to check. I'm also going to add an else by clicking the checkbox here. Now you just hit the insert button and you're ready to go. Let's take a quick look at some other options that we have available. The more options button allows you the ability to add a header and a footer to your document 
just as you would with a Word template. And speaking of Word templates, you'll notice the menu bar at the top looks a lot like a word processor. For instance, you can bold text or change the text style, among other options. Those of you who are more comfortable with HTML and CSS will appreciate the advanced mode, which allows some greater flexibility with styling and design. You can of course switch back to editor mode at any time. Once we have our template set up the way we want, we'll hit save and next. This takes us to the test tab, where you can check your merge fields and run a test to ensure that you're getting the results that you want, without actually performing a merge. The next two tabs are Deliver and Merge, which we'll cover a bit later. We have one last document creation option to cover, and that is the pre-built template. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Just as with the other two options, you'll click the New Document button from the Document tab. Here, you'll select the middle option, Start with an Example Template. This can be a great option, if you're new to us, to get an idea of what a complete document template should look like, or if you want a quick way to get started. Once you click the Next button, you'll see all of the options available for a template, as seen here. Once you select your desired template, you are then taken to the Dock Builder, which we just covered. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, how do you actually set up a merge? We can integrate with third-party services via the Merge tab. Here, you can see that we do offer the ability to set up integrations easily under More Integrations. Formstack, Pipedrive, Podio, and Clio can all be set up by clicking the Add button, where you'll be directed to log into those services with your login credentials.